to get... Uh-oh. We got a phone call coming in. Hello? To accept, press 1. To send a voicemail, press 2. What is this? Let's see. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Samuel. I'm sorry. Is it, uh, Samuel. Oh, yes. It's Kathy. Oh, yes, Kathy. Jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't, at first I didn't hear you on the phone. It's, um, ladies I'm and gentlemen. Sorry, I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm just breathless. It's been a whirlwind. No, I'm sure it's I just. It's been a whirlwind. Let me just tell everybody, ladies and gentlemen, it's never was uh, Senator Katherine Harris. Uh, but you were a congresswoman. Uh, you were, of course. I was uh, indeed. I was indeed. Secretary. And now I'm just out and about with Michelle Mabel and Marcus. And wasn't Rick Perry wonderful? You know, Sam, I still, I'm just still over the moon over, you remember, the applause over the executions. It just still warms the cockles of my heart. I can still hear the applause ringing in the, in the hall for the wonderful gift from the Father God of, of, of state, state-sanctioned killing. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that was so uh, wonderful for you to, uh, to, I mean, now I got to ask you, now, of course, tonight is a, uh, a big debate for the Republicans. It's sponsored by uh, the Tea Party and um, the Tea Party uh, network, CNN. And, uh, or I yes, say but Sam, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I don't know if you know this, but I'm in Egypt. <laughs> Did not, didn't know that. I'm in Egypt. I'm covering. I watch the debates from there. I'm going to, what we're going to be covering. Them. Wait, what are you doing in Egypt? What am I not doing in Egypt? This is the better question. First of all, we've been having many celebrations. We had a 9-11 celebration here the, this weekend, and we had a wonderful uh, Toby Keith cover band. They're called Freedom Tower. They were wonderful. They played. Wait a second. What is the Toby Keith Freedom Tower? What is that? Well, I don't understand. Why are you in Egypt to celebrate 9-11? Why are you but, celebrating 9-11? Well, we're celebrating the the messages from the Father God and the messages that he sends us. And we thought Egypt was a fertile place because they're in the throes of a, of a new beginning. And, and as you know, we need to keep our eye on the Muslim Brotherhood and, and their ties with groups here like the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Wait a second. You're suggesting... <laughs> You're suggesting that the Muslim Brotherhood has ties to the ties with the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, and they're they they they're trying to undercut Verizon. Wait, wait. But, wait. I mean, it's as plain as the nose on your face, Sam. The ties between the Muslim Brotherhood and the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. I think you're getting that's confused. That's one of the reasons that we're in Egypt. But also, we have we have opened a chapter of the Tea Party because we think they can find. Com common cause with the Sal Salafi group, the Salafi Tea Party. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I think you're getting confused between just the use of the word brotherhood, first off, and are you, wait, you're suggesting the Tea Party is setting up a sort of a like... A chapter in, in Egypt. And Sam, also we had camel rides. We had camel rides, and I had the most wonderful camel. His name was Toe. Joe? Toe. Toe. T-O-E. <laughs> oh, you My had camel, a... <laughs> Toe. He was so wonderful. He was so precious. And I had a, a, another one named Zidal. Zidal. But my favorite was Toe. He was, so, oh, my camel toe was so wonderful. We had the most wonderful time. But anyway, the Freedom Freedom Tower played. Ordinarily, that cover band is, is a Bob Seeger cover band called Night Moves. Do you know them? No, I don't. They're really wonderful, but ordinarily they're called Night Moves. But one day out of the year, they're called Freedom Tower. I see. And then they go to Egypt to play for a Tea Party. Well, we have very fertile ground. You know, as you know, Sam, Egypt is in the throes of a of a brand new beginning. 
I mean, not since Sadat was assassinated has there been a better time to try something new. You know, they tried it with they tried they tried to get Nasser, but he he was tricky. He was yeah, Nasser was oh yes Nasser was incredibly tricky. But listen, I I, th- I want to just I want to try and turn your eyes statewood word uh, because you mentioned that you really loved Rick Perry, but you also oh my god state sanctioned state sanctioned killings. You know we want to keep get government off our backs. Get the government off our backs. That's number one. And also, Sam, the Postal Service. We've been talking about this in Egypt, too, but I know, Rick, the Postal Service is a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> the Postal it's Service? It's a Ponzi scheme. Wait a second. How is the Postal Service a Ponzi scheme? It's just a Ponzi scheme. It's not going to be there for us. You tell a 25-year-old that there's gonna be, he's going to be able to send a letter. He's going to look at you like you got six heads. I mean, Sam, we have to reform the Postal Service and impose biblical rules and regulations. I mean, it has to be structured. What biblical rules and regulations do you want to impose on the Postal Service? Well, it's a, it's a it's a failing system. What do you what do you think? We're gonna we're gonna it's it's get, you got to have a biblical worldview. You got to pray that your letters get got to where they're going to go. You can't have any more of this social engineering at the post. It's a Ponzi scheme. Well, okay, but wait a second. Now, I want to just... You ask any Egyptian, they'll tell you the same thing. But what you do Egyptians Tahir know Square about that... our postal service? What? <laughs> what? Evolution's a Ponzi, Ponzi scheme. Wait, evolution is a Ponzi scheme? It's not even a scheme. What? There's no. Can I tell you also about small business? Where they, I want to talk more about what we're talking to people in, 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 in Egypt. What? We're trying to, with, with the Tea Party and the small business owners, listen, I want to tell you about a good friend of ours. Man, uh, her name is Varna Kateswaller. Varna Kate Swaller, she's from Boone County, and she's been working real hard here in Egypt, and she's a small business owner. She has, she has a small batch corn mash whiskey business in her backyard in Boone County. She does artisanal moonshine, small batch white lightning. And she cannot hire new people because of Obama's unfriendly uh, decisions towards the business community and the unfair regulation and taxes. Do you know how m- much regulation is on, on a, the average still in the backyard in Boone County? Well, my understanding is that you're actually allowed to just produce a small amount of liquor for yourself. There's, she can't hire anybody. Varna can't hire anybody <laughs> because of the taxes and the regulations for her small batch corn mash whiskey artisanal blend. <laughs> Wait a second. So you're saying that this person who is who's making liquor in a still in the back, what what is she going to what who is she gonna hire? I mean She what, needs to hire people to distribute it, to mix it, to pack so it. So how much taxes she's paying the lowest she's amount? She's paying of, ridiculous taxes, regulation. It's a job killer in Boone County, which I don't know if you're familiar it's right near Tinker's Holler. I, I'm not familiar with Tinker's Holler, but but yeah, please, you know, and Catherine, let me ahead. let me just please, please, for one minute. I'm just so scattered. I'm sorry, I'm so scattered. No, I, no, I no, I appreciate it's you. Just things me. in Egypt move quickly, I and on the stamps that we'd like to have at the new post office, that is not a Ponzi scheme. We're going to have St. Francis of Assisi. We're going to have St. Ignatius, Reba McIntyre stamp. <laughs> Oh, oh well, it's okay. going to be wonderful. And there's only going to be Aramaic. You're only allowed to write your letters in Aramaic. You're only allowed? That's like the ancient sort of biblical... Yes! Praise him. Please, let me just ask you one question. Sure. about Tonight there is a debate. You said that you like Rick Perry, but you enjoyed the... Oh, my people. God, yes. when I, he I, talked about the execution. No, I know My that. heart swelled no, but, 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 50 but, times. Have you noticed that Michelle Bachman's numbers now have, like, halved? Her support in the Republican Party has dropped by about half because of the entry of Rick Perry into the uh, race. D- d- That's because she believes in Ephesians, Sam. Ephesians 5, 2, 2. Women, submit yourselves 
as you would unto the Lord, so, to your husband, in this case, Rick Perry. <laughs> Ephesians 5 2. But Rick Perry's not her husband. It's about mutual respect, much like Sam, you remember Robert E. Lee would talk about slavery. It's mutual respect. Robert E. Lee, as in. The General Robert E. Lee, General the president Robert. Of, the, of, the, of the Confederacy? I don't. Yes. I was now, not... he spoke of Ephesians as well for slavery. It's about mutual respect. The slaves knew this. The wives know this. So, Ephesians 5, 2, 2. So you're saying that the reason why Michelle Bachman's numbers have gone down is simply because she's submitting herself to Rick Perry. To Rick Perry, praise him. But why didn't she submit herself to the other Republicans in the race? Because they don't execute as many people, Sam. All right. Praise him. <laughs> Praise him. Fair enough. I, I, the Father I, I, God. So let me, are you, you are going to be watching the debate tonight. From Egypt. From Egypt. <laughs> yes, yeah, so and we had wonderful, we, you know, in Ramadan, we had to tone it down. At Ramadan in August in Egypt, they didn't. They, our funnel cakes were not selling in August. But I'll tell you, as soon as Ramadan ended, the funnel cakes threw the roof. And I'm telling you, we are having a time, and my camel toe is so precious. I love that camel. Yes. No. And, let me just finally. Let me just ask you: Is there anything in particular that you're looking for to see in the debate tonight? Uh, is yes, there... more state sanction killing. We want to get out the word that the Postal Service and evolution are Ponzi schemes and job killer. Evolution's a job killer. Evolution's it's a job, job killer. killer. Can I ask why? Sam, we have got to get rid of these regulations. Also, we had a Mitch McConnell look-alike contest <laughs> yesterday, and it was so much fun to celebrate 9-11. We had a Mitch, and the winner, you, what you do is you pay a dollar to punch him in the face. <laughs> and it raises money for well, the children. Uh, and so we children. could also, we will get to the bottom of the ties between the Muslim Brotherhood and the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Well, uh, I listen. Uh, we won't have it. We will not have it. I'm sorry I'm so scattered. Sam. No, uh, so Catherine Harris, it's I, been, it's I, I always. I, it's what, a, go, what? I'm as, sorry, what? As what? All... <laughs> no low flow toilets. Low flow toilets are a job killer. No. Rick Perry knows this. Low, keep the government out of my toilet. Okay, we will. It's uh, a thank Ponzi you scheme. so much. The toilet is a Ponzi scheme. For giving us this uh, preview of the debate. It was. Um, We've, we've remember, run out of low time. flow toilet is a Ponzi scheme. Right, low flow toilets, a Ponzi scheme, evolution. It's Ponzi a job scheme. killer. A job. low flow toilet's a job killer. Yes, well, I guess there's no. I, 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 Just keep the Eastern liberal establishment out of my toilet. <laughs> Catherine Harris, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Hello. But, I'm sorry. What? Okay, we've got to say goodbye now. Hello. Hello. Oh boy, I think. I think there's a medic. I, I, I'm not going to talk out of school, but I think from a from medication standpoint, something has gone horribly wrong. <laughs>